Hey guys, and welcome to Lovecast, the boys love podcast, where we talk about everything related to boys love. I'm your host, Pixie, and with me are my co-hosts, Alexa and Coco. Yay! Yay. Hi, everyone! <laughs> so, I thought we would start by just um, introducing ourselves and talking a little bit about our um, how we found boys love. Awesome. Do you want to go first, Pixie? So my nickname is Pixie because, well, you no one can pronounce my Norwegian name. So <laughs> I'm uh, from Norway. I'm 31 years old um, and I work uh, as or I own a dry cleaning business here. Um, I found Boys Love a lot of years ago, like I was probably around like 14 or 15. Um, uh, my first manga was, um, uh, I remember Gravitation. So that was explicit for a kid. <laughs> um, and like, because like manga in itself isn't really like seen as, uh, wasn't seen as a normal thing to read when I was a kid, I kind of have to keep it all hidden and just... I didn't have anyone to talk about, talk with it about, and yeah. So I kind of fell out of it after a while. Um, and then, like, recently when I joined the K-pop nation on Twitter, <laughs> a, lot of, um, a lot of people were going crazy over uh, Tharn Type. So I, so I ended up watching that. <laughs> And sort of just fell into the hole all over again. And now I'm just washing everything I can get my hands on. <laughs> so, yeah. Next. <laughs> okay, uh, I guess I'll go next. Um, I'm Alexa. Um, that is my real name. And yes, I get all the jokes about the Amazon Echo every single day of my life, which is really fun. Um I am from the United States, which is also really fun right now, <laughs> note the sarcasm, and I am 26. Um, I'm currently working on getting my master's in clinical psychology, so I do that, and then I also work full-time, so of course uh, BL is a great escape for me to relax at the end of the day. Um, I think... Well, I had been watching, like, a lot of, like, Western LGBT shows for a long time, like, ever since I was, like, a teenager, probably, and then in end of 2014, I got into K-pop and started watching Korean dramas, but, like, I was always very disappointed with the severe lack of LGBT rep in Korean dramas, and so I actually found out that one of um, the members of an idol group I liked, Cross Jean, had a BL line in this K-drama called The Lover. So, like, I think that would have technically been my very first introduction to BL. Uh, I watched that whole drama for him, even though, like, their storyline was very minuscule. And then after that, um, I kind of started looking for options beyond, like, Korean dramas, since there weren't that many, and that's kind of when I found Thai BL, and I think the first one I saw was actually Grey Rainbow, which was a special, and it's, like, a very depressing one, so, like, it's surprising that I kept watching it after that, but after that I found Sodas, and that kind of really just solidified it for me, and I think that was, like, late 2016, and I've just been watching Thai BL pretty consistently ever since, and have recently gotten more into like Chinese and Taiwanese and uh, Japanese BL as well, kind of expanding my horizons a little bit, especially this year with nothing else to do. So yeah, that's a little bit about my introduction. Coco. Hi, my, my full name is Courtney, but everyone just calls me Coco. Um, I'm 23 and I'm a full-time care worker. Uh, I think my first BL was Lovesick. Um, <laughs> and then I think after Lovesick, I didn't really watch much after that. And then I think like Pixie, I went online and I saw Torn Type. 
and then I was hooked. And then after that, I think it was Takami Chan, like a Japanese, yes, Stephanie Mew. Um, but it was, I think it was K Drama's first. And then I just planned, I think I found Love Sick by an accident. And then just start watching it from there. Yeah, same. I think it was pretty yeah. accidental for me. Like, I'm pretty sure I was on Tumblr and saw, like, a screen cap from Grey Rainbow. And I was like, this looks very gay and I need to watch it. <laughs> and that kind of, like, sent me down the rabbit hole. Yeah. Uh, very depressing one for that drama, though. Mm-hmm. I haven't even seen that and I don't want to. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, my God. Yeah, I haven't seen it either. <laughs> I just see other stories like on four like, episodes. I'll stay away from that one. Yeah, it's like four episodes, and I cried the whole time. <laughs> and I forced my sister to watch it, and she like hated me afterwards. <laughs> Every time I bring it up, she's like, "Do not mention that drama and the pain it put me through." <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, uh, what's one of your like favorite old time shows? Do you guys have one, like, specific one? Uh, I um, think it would be GSP now, because that I just loved it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I don't have, like, a favourite. I think it's too hard to pick mm-hmm. a favourite. It's so hard. I mm-hmm. mean, Until We Meet Again I... is up there. Oh, Until We Meet Again is a favourite of mine, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I would say... Not for the plot, but for the chemistry together with me, because we all know I am a, a Maxwell <laughs> fan. Yeah. Their chemistry just like soars above everything, even mm-hmm. though the plot itself was very pretty mediocre. True. Um, but outside of that, I think he's coming to me, and until we meet again, would probably be also at the top of my list. Yeah, yeah same. Like before, uh, Gaia película. I um I've always said that like until we meet again is like the most like the best. Yeah. <laughs> and I got so attached. Yeah, and it's just and the story and everything it's so different from everything else you're seeing, right? So Yeah. And yeah, I I I can't really explain why I've just I just love that show. <laughs> I'll be honest guys, I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> I was in I was in like such a huge BL slump for like the past couple months like there was so much coming out Mm -hmm. but like I felt like I just couldn't watch anything yeah like I would start stuff and get like three or four episodes in and just be like I'll get back to this later (laughs) but like the last couple weeks I've like finally come out of that with like Manner of Death and Sherry Magic and so it's definitely like at the top of my list to binge Mm -hmm. as soon as like cherry magic finishes probably i'll binge it because yeah. everyone talks about it and like i know i'm gonna love it i just like ha- did not have the energy to watch it earlier in the year yeah like it, gsp is like the reason why it's so good it's because um they kind of put um real uh lgbtq plus yeah. stuff into it yeah. like it gave me a better understand understanding of like the issues um, since I'm straight and really can't talk too much into it because I don't know anything Mm -hmm. but it it, like gave me a better perspective on things because you kind of you kind of you want you want to be respective over gay people and stuff but you you don't where's the line of being respective and being like condescending kind of right right so it kind of it's it had it had so many elements that just made me kind of understand that um, I need to act like more of a human around gay people, right? Mm-hmm. It's 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 a little bit hard to explain, but I I feel like I learned something, and at the same time, it was a good show, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think. I think it does kind of, even though I haven't seen it, I I think that's kind of part of why it stands out from a lot of other BLs based on what people are saying. Um, Just because, you know, BL is fiction and and we all know that, but, you know, a lot of the times the way they represent the LGBT community is very much very, like, over-animated. I don't know if that's Mm. the word I'm looking for, but, you know, 
it's not realistic and mm-hmm. I, I think we all know that and we're okay with it but like it's it's really nice like I'm bisexual so like as someone who's part of the LGBT community to see a show being praised for kind of tackling a lot of LGBT issues um, mm-hmm. and being like realistic but also giving us really great chemistry and that kind of stuff as well so it, it does have all the things that like draw people into BL but also like giving you some of that real life like look at the LGBT experience too which is you know kind of I think what's what's made it something that a lot of people are are looking to and loving a lot this year mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. definitely and it kind of hit uh, hit different when I uh, heard from the guy who wrote it uh, he said that it was like uh, it's sort of a true story or Uh, the beginning is a true story, but it's uh, how he reimagined it if he hadn't pushed that person away and that person had died. Wow. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah. That's heavy. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, right? It's a show that's going to make me cry a lot, but, like, <laughs> the good kind of cry. Uh-huh. Yeah, definitely. So we know GSP is a 2020 fave. What mm-hmm. have been some of your other favorites of this year? I think Cherry 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 Magic is definitely going to be favorite. Yeah, it's just so dopey. I'm like, it hasn't funny. finished yet, but I just I'm like smiling at my screen the whole the mm-hmm. whole twenty four yeah. minutes of the episode. Yeah, it's it's so fluffy and domesticated. Yeah, and and the side side plot with the uh, Suge and uh, the uh, Minato <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> Suge is. He's so over the top, but yeah. like it's also such a mood. I'm like, I his inner monologue, like I relate to it so much. And then he's just like screaming all the time. Yeah, I'm like, I get you. <laughs> um, I also really like like the um, the Korean BLs that have. Yeah, come out. definitely. I'm so excited to see Korea finally getting on the wave. Finally, <laughs> finally, and they've been really short, but still. It, It, like I think Korean, it's enough. It's yeah, summed it all up really well. Mm-hmm. Like Korean dramas, for some reason, just hit different. Yes, definitely. Yeah, there's something there's like just a, a different feeling that comes yeah. from them. Yeah, like uh, like the quality of production, or just like how they put everything aesthetically. It's yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's really like a good stepping stone for Korea. Um, The fact that, like, a lot of these BLs have had, like, idols in them, which is, like, you know, for a long time, idols couldn't associate themselves with the LGBT community, or they had to be, like, very low-key about it. And so now we have, like, idols, like, starring in BLs, and, you know, it's it's bringing a immediate fan base to the drama as well. So, like, I'm really hoping that maybe in 2021 or even 2022, we'll see, like, a full-length, like, Korean BL mm-hmm like a 16 episode that would be like amazing but I think it's like it's so cool to see that it's it's finally happening and like the wave has finally made it there Mm -hmm. very true what's your favorite um ship or actor like (laughs) (laughs) oh that's hard (laughs) (laughs) um (laughs) I am a max tool stand through and through (laughs) <laughs> I have been, I watched Together With Me in, in 2017, and, like, ever since then, it's just been, like, they immediately, like, skyrocketed to the top of, like, my favorite pairing list, mm-hmm. um, which is why Manner of Death is, like, even though it's only been one episode or, or two, if you have the VIP, like, mm-hmm. I'm already know it's gonna be one of my favorite dramas, because I'm I'm very biased, and I love them <laughs> a lot, so, like... Max, it's just Max Tool. That's yeah. That's that sums me up as a person, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Coco? I think it would definitely be New Girls, which is totally obvious. I th- I think <laughs> I think we all know that. Um, but I think I don't really know. It's, except from them, I think Kona and Table. I love them. They're just so cute. But I think that's it. My favorite, just Mew golf, me. just Mew all the way. You golf all the time. Um, so I, I'm kind of, oh, I have, I've been thinking about this a lot, but I, I don't think I actually have like 
a favorite ship. I, I like I like a lot of ships, but then again, I'm I don't have a problem seeing those actors with other actors. So mm, yeah. it's kind of I don't get that like yeah. It's hard to explain, but but I do have like like a list of favorite actors. <laughs> Give us some of your favorite actors then. Okay. So, um, C. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> from Why Are You? Um, yeah. <laughs> that's uh, mostly because of, um, yeah, it's, yeah. I, we know. Yeah. <laughs> top off. It's fine. <laughs> I like C. <laughs> and uh, Baun, after uh, Until We Meet Again. Yeah, I again, I love freaking him. love Bound. Ah, uh, and um, why can't I think of the last one? I'm completely frozen. No, I haven't had Jeff. much sleep. Oh, Jeff! Like yeah, Jeff! Jeff! Yes, Jeff! Oh my God, <laughs> I love his voice. Oh, oh, his voice is amazing. Yeah, Jeff Satter from Ingredients and He She It. Oh, mm -hmm. He She It was wild. <laughs> uh, I was so happy. When his songs came on Spotify, I'm just yeah. finally. The struggle of waiting for BL songs to be on Spotify is real. Mm -hmm. uh, I think some of my favorite actors outside of Max Tool, um, Tay, I love him with my whole heart. I just think he's so bright and sunshiny and he's so happy. He's such all a the little time. like mm. goofball. He's such a puppy. <laughs> and I'm really excited. Like, he's very good. Like, versatile roles too so like mm. and he plays characters that are so different from who he is so like i i really enjoy watching him act i mm -hmm. also really like um ohm from until we meet again i know yeah. there's a lot of ohms but until <laughs> we meet again oh he's he's gorgeous and i loved his character in until we meet again mm -hmm. and i'm really excited to see his acting career kind of flourish a bit more hopefully in 2021 i know he's taking on a lot of like non BL projects, which is awesome. So it's cool to see him grow as well. Mm. Yeah, I haven't seen him in any other BL project. Has he done any? No, I no. think he's been he's been doing like a lot of like more like Blackhorns, like mm. non BL stuff. I know he has like a project coming up with Cinco, but I think they're playing brothers if I'm yeah, remembering correctly. Know. But that's okay. still interesting. Yeah, yeah. Cinto is like the ultimate BO boy, so it's really cool mm -hmm. to see them act together. Mm -hmm. Oh, I really love Gun. I was so, so excited for the new show. I I love Gun. He is so good. I I mean, when I saw a uh, Theory of Love and um the the scene when he's in the shower and or crying in the shower, crying in the shower. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the sh and the the water goes off and he starts using a water <laughs> bottle. I just I fell uh. in love there. <laughs> that was the best thing ever. <laughs> Oh, he's so talented. He's so yes. cute, too. I'm really mm -hmm. excited for Not Me. I think mm -hmm. it's, like... I know he's played some, like, pretty serious roles because he was in, like, The Gifted as well. And Theory of Love, he was a pretty, like, serious character in that as well. But, like, Gangster Gun is going to be really cool to see. Mm-hmm. I think it's, like, just a different show. Like, the plot, if I haven't mm -hmm. seen it before. Mm -hmm. It's going to be refreshing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm sort of, like... Ugh. I, I feel like I'm so tired of the same school plots all the time. Engineers. Yeah. We've had enough. Yeah. Engineers. No more engineers. No engineers more and doctors. <laughs> <laughs> I've had Give me more murder and gangsters. I mm, love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We do. We do. I think it's... Even like Cherry Magic, just like regular adult office worker life like mm -hmm. it's still something different that we don't really see in any other bls which like is another thing that kind of sets it apart yeah it's just like nice to see like adults that aren't like 18 university freshmen and their engineering seniors who are in love with them yeah i kind of feel like the the industry has like noticed that um bl uh, enthusiasts aren't just like teenage girls <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> like there are older people who actually like this and don't necessarily need to watch boys young boys in school 
fall in love. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's it's. I still it, watch them though. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I do still too. Watch them. Yeah. <laughs> I will, I will, but I, I, I will complain about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I right. complain. <laughs> yeah, like this is the same plot, but I'm gonna watch it all over again. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited, like about the GMM uh, TV um, lineup because it seems like yeah. they're diversifying a lot with and their stuff. Yeah. Again. It... Mm-hmm. Yes, they dragged them from the basement. Finally, finally free. I need to see him (laughs) more, please. Yes. Yeah, a lot of people are showing up a lot, but there's like I noticed that Frank. I didn't see Frank in any of the trailers. Mm. Like Drake had quite a few roles, but I didn't Mm -hmm. see Frank at all. And I'm like, is GMM TV giving up on Frank Drake, or like is he just focusing on other things next year? Like I feel bad because my tea was not the greatest start for their pairing Mm -hmm. and like they didn't get too much shine and together but like I know a lot of people love Frank Drake so I was really surprised that like they weren't gonna be like in anything together that we saw at least from what they showed at New and Next yeah yeah well he might have other plans I don't know but it's really sad because you kind of have like this established couple that people like and you're just gonna like throw it away <laughs> yeah like they even had like an our sky episode and then like i mean yeah they weren't weren't together which was you know the most popular gmf tv series last year mm. obviously but like their role in it was so minuscule and i was just surprised that like they haven't been utilizing them more i mean it, they have like a long time to utilize them because they're both very young but like I I just I was just really surprised that I didn't see him in any of them as like a supporting role even mm-hmm. but maybe I don't know maybe he's focusing on school or other things or doing other projects or something yeah uh, what did you guys think about like the, the biggest BL of the year apparently <laughs> together <laughs> <laughs> oh it's so controversial yeah <laughs> I I liked it. Like, I will not say it was, like, my favorite show ever, and mm-hmm. I, I'm i surprised that it got as popular as it did, mm-hmm. but, like, I think at its base, it was, it was a decent drama. I know the high five, the infamous <laughs> high five, had everyone pissed off, but mm-hmm. I think, like, when you take that out of it and then put it together with the Still Together special, mm-hmm. it rounds out as a fairly decent drama. It definitely had its its issues, and mm-hmm. I, a lot of the criticisms were valid, but like, yep. I, and I think part of it's that I really loved Win, and I loved him as Tyne, and I think that he's like a really talented actor, and mm-hmm. I I'm glad that we got him out of it, but like, it it was decent. It wasn't my favorite, but I also mm-hmm. didn't hate it. I was True. just kind of I just kind of sit in the middle on it. I think. Yeah, same. I I'm kind of I gave it actually a pretty good score on MDL. It's I if you look past the past the high five and everything, it, they, it's it's a good show and it's I think most of the hate coming for it is just because it's gotten so huge. So yeah. everyone is just like hung up on this like sheep mentality that they have to follow each other on the hate train. For no reason, but yeah, I I I I really like Bright. I'm like I'm I'm Bright is one of my boys. <laughs> okay, <He's cute. laughs> he is so cute. cute. But I think one of the reasons why the show was so popular is because like all the guys in the show are like super hot. Yeah, gorgeous. I've, yeah, I enjoyed it. Like it's not my favorite, but it was really funny. Hmm. But I'm not like funny. the I... biggest, I'm not the biggest fan of mm. Bright Win, but I think I like Win more. I know, more. I know that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I do love Win. <laughs> but Win is super cute, and I loved obviously Top Top was in it and Gun Smile, so I was. Oh, oh mm. Top Top! I'm so top glad top. the show. Like I was aware of him before because like he was in Three Will Be Free and other like play supporting characters and other shows I've seen, mm-hmm. but like 
together really got me on the on the top top hype train. I love yeah, him definitely. and Mike and and their little TikTok obsession. I love them both. Okay, yeah, no. we need to talk about top tap for a second here because <laughs> <laughs> when I saw him in together, I didn't know who he was. I had I hadn't seen any of the other shows he's been in. And I was just like, because he's not smiling in the show and he's kind of serious yeah. <laughs> and strict and I'm just, okay, who the fuck is this? But then someone shared a TikTok of him dancing <laughs> and I'm just, it floored me. I'm just wholeheartedly like, in love person? with this guy <laughs> after seeing him dance. <laughs> oh, it was so he weird. Have the hips. Oh, he moves. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was so funny that he's gonna be in like that stripper mama go-go show next year oh yeah and in the trailer it's just like him doing these body rolls and I'm like that's just what he does every day top yeah. down doing his body rolls on tiktok and now he's gonna be doing it in a show too yeah yeah they yeah, really yeah. utilized his talents there yeah, I remember on um, Reddit for a, like a while back, someone posted like a um, thread where they asked like, okay, who do you want to see in BLs and what couples and what do you want them to, like the plot to be? And I remember I, mm. I answered that in that after I, <laughs> I'd seen um, the TikTok uh, of Top Tap that he needs a BL where he's dancing. <laughs> yes, yes. Dancer, <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited to see that. Like, I know it's not going to be a BL, but like, yeah. there's going to be a lot of bromance in that probably, mm -hmm. so it'll still be good. Yeah. And like, they'll be dancing with almost no clothes on, so... <laughs> <laughs> that alone is like enough to get most of us watching. Yeah. Did, was it Earth in that trailer who just like yeah. tore off his shirt? Like, he tore his shirt holy off. Shit. <laughs> oh, oh my god, uh, he is so buff. They yeah, are, they are all gorgeous men. They are. Have you seen like uh, C's um, Instagram uh, lives? Uh, uh, oh my god, yes. <laughs> He's insane. It's the most entertaining thing ever, seeing him work out <laughs> shirtless. <laughs> You're like, yes, I, like I love working out. Oh, out. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. That's great. Oh, he's a lot. Mm -hmm. I love him. I remember um, when Why Are You was first airing, uh, one of the people in the server just like made this whole Google Drive of like different Z photos, mm. and it's still like in my shared documents on Google Drive. <laughs> and like every once in a while, I'll just like click on it and just like look through all these like gorgeous pictures of Z, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's a gorgeous man right there. Yeah, yeah. Who, who made me the the GIF uh, of um, C's happy trail? Me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was the best thing. It was thing. Homemade. Oh, I loved you for that. <laughs> okay, I'll, try, I'll give that. Yeah. <laughs> it's not hard. That was amazing. Oh, oh yeah. I, I, I kept like having it. That and the gif of uh, Bowne when he... Um, yeah, that was he me as well. touches his yeah <laughs> when he touches his neck those two i just like kind of have had on repeat in front of me i'm just like oh this is good <laughs> it's content we're here for yeah i did not know i had a like a kink for happy trails before i saw c <laughs> oh, there <laughs> You learn something new every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're never too old to learn something new. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, where were we? <laughs> um, we were talking about together, and then we started talking about Top Tap, yeah. and then we got <laughs> onto Z. <laughs> uh, oh, we were talking about the GMM TV trailers. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Bad Bunny, I know that's currently seems like the bad buddy not bad, bad buddy, buddy. <laughs> keep making that mistake i know that seems like the big um fan favorite right now mm. with the om nanan yeah. pairing yeah which i am excited about i really love om so mm. like yeah me too and i like the idea of 
fake rivals to mm-hmm. friends to lovers. Like I think it's a a cool twist on an old cliche. So yeah. I hope it's I hope it's really good because I'm I'm really excited I'm really excited about a lot of them. So like I just mm-hmm. hope that they don't fuck all it up. up to like the trailer. <laughs> Very true. No, I, well, I kind of okay. Who is Nanon? I have. I feel so stupid because everyone is so hyped, but I have no idea who that is. He's a GMMTV actor. I know he's never done BL before. Okay. From 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 what I know, I he's like part of that like trio, like him and Ch- Chimon, I think yeah. is his name, and Oh. Yeah. I guess were they in a series together in the past? Maybe. I don't really know too much about like the past i just know he's part of gmm tv and a lot of people ship him within that trio <laughs> i know we have some experts on him in the server but mm-hmm. i don't know enough <laughs> yeah. about him yeah i don't really I've know noticed. that much to be honest yeah uh, i just know that this will be his first bl because a lot of people are talking about that which yeah. kind of explains why i'm not too familiar with him but mm-hmm I guess he's been in a lot of other GMF TV shows as, like, supporting roles and stuff. I think he was in The Gifted. Yeah. Oh, which okay. I know is a popular one. Yeah, I haven't seen that one yet. I've been meaning to, I but... I either, but a lot of people say good things about it. Yeah. Didn't... It, wasn't there a sequel, too, to... Just mm-hmm. recently came out? I think that just finished. Yeah. Yep. It's like they'll be bringing out a lot of um, newbies for their BLs next year, too. Mm. I think... The Enchanté one was pretty much all newbies except for Gawain, who I'm very excited to see him again. Yes, because I I'm really him. excited for that one. Like, I think that looks really good. Wait, was was that the, like, Cinderella plot? One? Yeah. 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 Where he has, like, all the boys, and it's like, who could be Enchanté? Yeah. I think I'm just more excited for Fluke. Like, Fluke, yeah, I do love Fluke. Mm, True. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of on the fence about Enchante. I've I kind of feel like I've seen the Cinderella plot so many times in straight dramas. Yeah. So it's kind of a little bit overused, but um I'll give it a chance. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. It's kind of an interesting like twist on the Cinderella plot. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a group of four guys all claiming to be this mysterious person mm-hmm. but I'm I'm most definitely most excited about uh, not me yeah. with uh, gun oh man off gun are just like they're probably my favorite of the like the jam MTV big three so mm-hmm. like I'm really glad that they just keep getting series like I'm never going to complain about seeing them in new mm-hmm. series together I just think they're and they're all different too, because like there was Puppy Honey, yeah. and then you have Theory of Love, and now we have this like gangster biker gang mm-hmm. rivals type situation that's going on. And I just like that they're like very versatile whenever they're in anything. Yeah, and this one looks so good. I'm so excited for it. Yeah, someone in the server were, were complaining about Gun having like a part um, that's more like badass. And well, I'm why not? He's too feminine. Yeah, and I'm just like, okay. They said he was too feminine. Yeah, and I was what? Well, I like my men beautiful and badass, right? He he's like the most like I I feel like it fits his personality. Mm-hmm. Like you know, like he's very like I don't I don't know if sassy is the right word, but like he I I just he fits playing a gangster. I feel mm-hmm. like he, just because he's not super tall and doesn't have like a shit ton of muscles, like mm-hmm. he's good for the role. Like we can all see him playing a gangster, and yep. it, it's weird to me that like some people are so focused on his appearance related to the role. Right. <sighs> There's always going to be people like that, I guess. Yeah, I kind of mm-hmm. feel like okay if you see it like um with dogs right small dogs are usually more fierce than bigger dogs right yeah Yeah, so because they have to because they're small they have to like do something to make themselves more intimidating right so they're just the attitude is more fierce so it's kind of like that too like with gun in this role like yes he looks kind of more feminine than other guys but 
he makes up for it with his attitude and just presence. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So it, it'll be interesting to see off in a role that's not like uh, comedy based. Yeah, definitely. He's always the comedic relief. Mm hmm. Kind of character, like goofy womanizer type. So it'll be. I think it'll be a real, like, test for his acting skills, but I mm -hmm. think he can pull it off. Yeah. And I think he has a really good support in Gunn. Gunn is, like, yeah, the master. Yeah, absolutely. He's ma master level acting. <laughs> and then the other one was the fish, fish, fish upon the sky. Yeah. Fish upon the sky. I actually, like, when the trailer first started, I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. Mm -hmm. Like... But by the end of it, like that that last little scene, like before it cut off, I was like, oh, like this could be really good. Like <laughs> mm -hmm. the whole like fighting for the same person, but then you fall in love with your rival type thing. I I'm a sucker for that kind of trope. So like yeah. I think I'm gonna end up really enjoying it. Yeah, personally I, I love like the rival to lovers kind of trope. Yeah. Yeah. It's really interesting. Wasn't um there was a bakery one right too but that's not B yeah we don't know if it's SBL. Yeah. yeah maybe it has um Singto is playing like a gay character mm -hmm. but I don't think uh, I've seen the Korean like film that is based on I can't mm -hmm. remember if there was actually like any type of like relationship between that character and any of the other ones but I don't know I I think it could go either way. Because yeah. it's very likely that GMMTV might change some stuff to make it more palatable to, you know, Singto's audience. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if there ended up being something in the end. Yeah, it's very true. But Singto's just been... I love the characters that he plays. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I feel like he's found, like, a really good niche for himself. Mm -hmm. And, like, with this and Friendzone and his character in Sodas, like, he's gotten himself in like a really good little like acting bubble and I always really enjoy his character so I'm definitely gonna check it out mm -hmm. yeah Singto is like one of those actors you kind of don't associate him with his ship with the yeah yeah. yeah definitely he's so versatile mm -hmm. he can like act with anyone honestly mm -hmm. I was a big um Om Singto fan and I want GMMTV to put them together again because he's coming to me as one of my favorites and I thought that they were really good together yeah, I'd love to see them in another role together. Yeah, it'll be really interesting. I I kind of like liked some of the um, the hetero stuff they uh, put out trailers for too. Oh yeah, the one that Tay's gonna be in, like yeah. it gave me friend zone vibes, but like with murder involved, mm -hmm. and I think it's gonna be really messy and really fun to watch. Yeah, I think it was called the player. Yeah. Everyone is playing each other kind of deal. I liked it. I yeah, liked because that, that's, yeah. that has a side BL plot, right? Yeah, with um, Mech and I don't know the other actor's name, but I know his character is going to be bisexual, which is always cool to see. Some bisexual mm. representation. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I think they have a really good a good lineup for next year and a lot of different, like a good variety of stuff coming out. I don't remember like a lot of like the trailers from the 2019 new and next mm -hmm. for the, for this year but like i i remember i wasn't super impressed with it last year but like yeah. i was really impressed with a lot of the ones from this year mm -hmm. so do you want to do you guys want to talk a little bit about um manner of death since we're enthusiasts <laughs> here <laughs> of course i do <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh go oh, ahead God, alexa <laughs> It's just like, like I said, like I am biased, so I knew I was going to like it no matter what, but mm -hmm. like, I think we were all like, at least from what I saw, like everyone was on the same page from like the second that this series was announced that we all saw Max Tool in these roles as like mm -hmm. these two characters. And so like, there was a lot of hype around it and a lot of like well, what if it ends up being disappointing since we've been mm -hmm. hyping it up for so long? But, like, 
I caved about the Wii TV VIP, so I watched the first two episodes last week, and yeah, it was too. so good. Like, mm-hmm. I was really into the story just as much as I was into seeing them together again, mm-hmm. and, like, I love discussing, like, who's suspicious and what things we need to keep an eye out for mm-hmm. and what certain things meant, and I just, like, it was fun to watch. It, it's fun to theorize about. Like, there's so much, like, theorizing that can go on throughout the whole thing mm-hmm. and like I'm I'm just really excited I haven't read the novel so like yeah I, although I know you pixie said that they've already changed a lot from the novel so like yeah either way it might not even matter <laughs> if you read the novel <laughs> or not but like I didn't read the novel so like I'm going in completely blind and I'm just mm-hmm. like I love like feeling like I'm along on the ride with Bun of like trying to mm-hmm. figure out like what the hell happened to Jane and like mm-hmm. who was involved and everything like that and like obviously Max Tool are incredible together like if you think about it they weren't they didn't even have that many scenes together in the first two episodes mm-hmm. but like the ones that they did have like that chemistry of just yeah. like Off i'm attracted to you mm-hmm. but i also think you might be a murderer like mm-hmm. it's just it's such a good line and they're doing it so well so far i'm just mm-hmm. really excited about it yeah i could talk about it for a while i could do a whole episode about manner of death alone of this podcast and just yeah. talk about it for hours <laughs> Well, I I agree. I Coco, did you <laughs> read the novel? No, I haven't read or seen it yet. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> no. okay. I've seen MD in a dress, and that's about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> MD's oh. character is so funny. Yeah, he is. Uh, his character in, in the series isn't in the book. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so they added. But, okay, so... Uh, Obviously, I'm I'm reading the book uh, as an audiobook over at my YouTube channel. YouTube channel, just to mm. shamelessly plug a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, and I'm up to um, I haven't put all of the recordings out yet, but I'm at chapter twenty. Uh, and there's a lot of stuff happening. Every chapter, yeah. every like things are like. You you don't know what's gonna happen because uh, the author Salmon, she's she has this ability to kind of like just pivot, <laughs> yeah, in in a in a in a way that makes sense. Like like she she connects everything, but it's still s- such a surprise that the stuff is happening. So it's just it's insane. So so I'm I'm really excited, but they did change a lot. And yeah, I think I think it's a good thing. I think the shows that kind of just like change a little bit are like kind of trying to trick you to think that it's the same as the book, but this they, right. but they just threw that out of the window and said, okay, we're gonna make this a TV show, right? So yeah. you can't put the like uh, word for word for the book because the book is more like thoughts and act like they're. Right. There isn't much dialogue and stuff in it. A lot of it is just thinking, right? So so I think it's a good thing. And I think it, they did it really well as well. They kept kind of like the um, biggest uh, stuff, plot points, uh, and changed around a lot of the other stuff. So yeah, I'm really excited about watching where they're yeah. going to take it. I think it's always hard to adapt a book series to television. And like you said, it's kind of like sometimes if you follow the book too closely, like you don't get the full, like you said, like thoughts and like analysis and stuff that happens Mm. in the book. So like, I think sometimes it can be better to just take like the basic bare plot. And then like you said, turn it into something that, works as a tv show and kind Mm -hmm. of like change things to make it work as a tv show Mm -hmm. but like still keep the overall vibe and like Mm -hmm. the overall major plot points but Mm -hmm. like not risk it falling flat as a series because you can't capture the book fully if that makes sense yeah but like when you read the novel you kind of get the idea that max and toll they were made for this show yeah like the the yeah. characters description and just how they act it's just like it's perfect for them uh, <sighs> they're so good yeah they are i'm really excited to see like how everything plays out like and we've still got 
I think it's 14 episode show so like mm-hmm. there's still 12 episodes and I just mm-hmm. know so much is gonna happen and it's gonna be so wild mm-hmm. and I'm so ready to enjoy the ride mm-hmm. yeah, shows like that have loads of twists I just love and yeah just keep... yeah it's good because you kind of yeah you you do it it's not predictable right yeah so it, mm-hmm. it just it you kind of don't go into it feeling like um you know what's gonna happen like every single time so it's right you can just sit on the edge of your seat mm-hmm. right the idea that anyone could be like bad even like one of the main characters you know it makes it so fun to watch like am i watching this guy fall for a murderer or not like it's Mm. so it makes it just like so interesting to see how things play out each week Mm -hmm. and and someone posted the spoilers on uh, the server um for how it ends and even though yeah i had (laughs) i had to try so hard not Not to click click on on it like it took all of my willpower oh i love spoilers (laughs) (laughs) but even though i know what's gonna happen and what the ending is and all that stuff i i still feel like anything could happen in this show and it's really weird it's yeah i'm super excited to watch the next episode and and i really feel like the the vtv vip um uh, pass really is starting to pay off they have really upped their game like with cherry magic cherry magic too Mm -hmm. yeah you get it fully subtitled right away uh, on, with a whip. And yeah, well, you need a VPN, but that's fine. <laughs> oh, VPNs. <laughs> a BL fan's best yeah. friend. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I agree. Like, I, it was honestly like, and, you know, I ordered it and it was only three ninety nine for the first month. And mm-hmm. I think it's going to go to five ninety nine after the second month. Mm-hmm. And like, even if I only keep it long enough to watch manner of death and cherry Mm -hmm. magic although i know there's going to be other series on there in 2021 Mm -hmm. so i'll probably end up just keeping it for longer like i think it's it's not a bad deal like to get like the early episodes and immediate access to subs like it's it's a pretty decently priced deal Mm -hmm. and like the the stuff that goes on vtv is already subbed right away um Mm -hmm. like on vicky it's not like it takes a long time. Oh, yeah, it can take like sometimes days on Vicky. Yeah, and craving then, you. you know, thinking about oh my god. Yeah, it's been taking forever to get subtitles on. Or then you think about like why are you who you know did provide subs pretty much right away, but mm. like they were off timed and mm. like a lot of errors in them. Mm. So like it's nice to have them like uploaded somewhere immediately and also like very professionally done because mm-hmm. i know like vicky is also like fan sub so like they're not professionally done either but mm-hmm. like you know these are i know some people have said like for some shows they're not always the greatest but mm-hmm. like from the ones that i've been watching they've all been like pretty decent compared to mm-hmm. some of the subs i've watched over the years so yeah it's true i f- kind of feel like when you have fans subbing um sometimes you you'll get a like more dedication to it than mm-hmm. just a normal translator like a normal translator would maybe just be like a little bit uh, unenthusiastic just wanted to get the That's job true. done yeah. but when you have like really passionate uh, suppers then it's yeah different That's very true mm-hmm. yeah i think like vicky and vtv are like the two places that i'll just keep my my vip uh, pass for yeah. next year yeah. And then there's always the, the true MVPs who just upload them onto YouTube with subs. Mm-hmm. Make it easier for everyone. I'm mm-hmm. surprised that um, all of the GMMTV trailers went up, like, already subbed this year. Like, that was really cool to see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It seems like they might be, like, putting more into, like, keeping up with their international audience in 2021. Mm-hmm. And a lot of other, like, channels producing BLs have done that as well this year, which is really exciting. Yeah. Not having to use, like, sketchy third-party sites with like really bad google translated subs it's like mm-hmm. so so refreshing yeah and it's it's so nice to be able to like support the show in a proper mm-hmm. way so you don't have to go to the illegal ones because okay yeah. i'll use the illegal ones when i have no other option exactly like i will always look for like the the legal like youtube mm-hmm. or on Vicky or something first mm-hmm. and like if it's really nowhere then i will go to other sources mm-hmm. 
Is there anything else we should discuss? No, we've oh. a lot. And we've been talking for like an hour already, which like yep. it really went by. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have anything, Coco? No, I think we've covered loads. Yeah, yeah. So we talked about a lot of good 2020 wrap up in 2021 mm-hmm. predictions. So like, yeah pretty good ground to cover yeah i think for like the next next episode we'll go through um we'll go through what like more in depth what was the best of 2020 and what's the best to come and everything everything in a bit more detail yeah yeah Yeah. perfect okay then we're uh wrapping up episode one episode one of the love cast yay thank you for listening hey thanks guys for listening Thank you. Please subscribe to the channel for podcast episodes every week and leave a comment of your favorite boy's love of all time and why. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks, guys.